these are two classic Cornish pasties and they look pretty much the same. A bit like these two coupes. The Hyundai Coupe isn't a bad pasty and it's a pretty reliable car too. It has leather interior, a big boot, and a torque gauge in newton meters with a multiplier of 10. But this two liter engine only puts out 140 horsepower and the car weighs 1300 kilos. There's also a V6 version that gives you a few more ponies, but it weighs even more. And that's when you realize this pasty is cold inside. This isn't a bad pasty either. It's a Toyota Celica. It also has leather interior, a big boot, but it only has a 1.8 liter engine. But this is the VVTLI, and that L stands for cam lift. Keep it in the power band, and this thing will give you 190 brake horsepower. And it's being nuked in the microwave. It's not the best handling car in the world, but for a front wheel drive car with an open diff, you can chuck it in the corners with a bit of confidence. There's a six speed gearbox that feels fantastic, but the close gate between first and reverse can be problematic. This was Toyota's solution to the problem. That's not annoying, is it? But here's a snag. Changing from second to third gear, unless you're on the straight and flat, you're gonna have trouble keeping it in the power band, even if you hit the rev limiter. What this needed was a closer gear in or a higher rev limit, but these ECUs can't be mapped. It was as if Toyota just said, hey, that'll do. Come out of a corner too slow in second, and those ponies are 10 meters down the road. But when the road perfectly suits the car and all the planets in the solar system are aligned and you nail that gear change from second to third in 0.3 of a second, it becomes a natural aspirated cracker jack. And that's when you realize that this pasty isn't quite as hot in the middle, but it's still better than a salad. <laughs>